Hi guys, it's Jean here and welcome. So today I've got another blog for you guys today and I'm going to take you out with me this weekend because we have a few things going on. So hopefully it should be a really fun weekend. Um, today is Friday and it's currently quarter past one. So I was meant to go into work, but I have decided to work at home last minute because I had a few last minute appointments this morning and I was just running around like crazy. Um, so I just had brunch because I had a few meetings on this morning as well. So now since I'm working at home, I thought I'll prepare some food food while I work. Um, nothing exciting happening today, just prepping for food because I don't think I'll have time on the weekend and I don't want to kind of run around, do stuff. So today I am preparing Coco's food. Um, I don't like buying him dog food, like the pre-packed ones because a lot of them are pretty bad and they have a lot of water in it anyways and he doesn't really like dry food like kibbles. So I'm going to prepare his food which should last three weeks or so. Um, and I'm also going to try and make a, um, like a Vietnamese style beef stew, it's called bok ho. I think that's how you say it. Um, I've made it before and it was really nice, so I thought I would make it again for next week to have for like lunch or like something like that, um, just to get that out of the way. By the way, how cute is my new beanie? This is from Carrie's Beanies to support brain cancer. Um, I got it in the mail on Monday, so I'm super happy because it's super cute. I was looking for a new beanie anyway, since we're heading towards winter in Melbourne and it's freaking cold. Um, I'm really into the whole like blush pink kind of color lately as well. My brother just got back from UK and bought me a Supreme beanie in like pink as well, so I'm all pinked out. And it's good because in winter, especially when you're having bad hair days, it's a really good cover-up. So yeah, I really love it. And I think it's so cute. Coco, what are you doing? Coco? I moved his bed here, by the way, because I'm not sure whether you've heard in my previous videos, we had a fish tank there. Um, you could hear the filter like all the time, but we got rid of it. We sold it. So we moved Coco's little bed there. And I bought him a little skateboard from Kmart the other day. Cause I thought it would be cool to like teach him how to skate. But so far all he's done is just like bitten into it. He's still a bit scared of it right now. Coco. So hopefully fingers crossed, um, he learns how to skate. Cause that would be super cute. So when I was on Light and Easy a few weeks ago, I was doing a five day program, which meant on weekends was my time to eat. So I found myself Instagramming food a lot, so that things that I can make or have during the weekend. And I came across pictures of like stews, cause it's just very comforting, especially when it's cool, cold. Um, so yeah, I was craving bò khô, which is like a Vietnamese beef stew. And honestly, like I've only really, really had it once when we went to Vietnam, like 2012. So about five years ago now. And I can't remember what it tastes like, but I was having major cravings for some reason. So I ended up um, finding two recipes online, which I combined into one because I don't know, I find it really hard following like getting ingredients because some ingredients we may not have in Australia or, you know, some are different. So I kind of improvise a bit here and there. So I don't know whether this is authentic or not, but Regardless, like overall, the outcome was really, really nice. So I'll show you the um, how I make my bokol. Like I said, I can't, I haven't had it recently, like an authentic one, to know whether it tastes the same. But this tastes nice to me, anyways. So this is the stuff I'm using in mine. Um, I will be using a pressure cooker just to fasten the process up. So I've got here about just a bit over one kilo, maybe one point two kilos of beef um beef chuck i guess i think this isn't gravy beef i'm not sure what else it's called but it's like stew beef um, which i've diced into cut up into little cubes and what i'm going to do is marinate this now with some lemongrass um i've got some five star five spice powder here um bay leaf a bit of curry uh, curry powder brown sugar and ginger. Normal, last time I used fresh ginger, which was really good, um, but because I didn't really forgot to get some, I'm using powdered ginger for now. Um, I've also got anise seed here, anista, anista, I don't know what you call this, but these little star things, I'm gonna add later. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix all these in here and marinate it for about half an hour with about three tablespoons of fish oil. Okay, so it's 7 p.m. and I'm going to start making the beef stew. Um, I'm starting a little bit later because I had a few things to do for work and I also had to go um, and drop something off as well. So 
I'll show you what I've done so far. So this has been marinating for about six hours. Um, what I've done is I've removed most of the lemongrass and put it in a little tea bag with the bay leaves. I also added two star anise in there as well. So I'm going to use this um, when I put it in the pressure cooker. It's just easier using a tea bag because I don't have to go fish it out later. I can just easily take it out and throw it out. So I'm going to quickly sear these um, in my pressure cooker slow pressure cooker thing um, and once it's all cooked then do the rest so i am using this fast slow cooker which is one of like the best adult things i've ever bought um, this is great because you can sear steam pressure cook and slow cook and warm as well awesome um, the only problem is i don't know where is a good area to use it so this is my current situation i have to stand on a stool in order to kind of look into it because I don't know where to put it but yeah this is how I cook okay so I've just seared the beef um, I did it in batches because if you do it all at once and there's no room for it to sear it kind of creates a lot of juice and it's really hard to sear so you kind of have to do it into batches now what I'm doing is searing um is that the word sear I don't know the onion so I've already pre-chopped this um, which I kind of did it a bit earlier and now the whole house smells like onions But it's actually not a bad smell So I'm going to cook it till the onions are transparent and then I'm going to put in a can of crushed tomatoes um, Sit it on the heat for it to simmer a bit till it thickens up and then chuck in the beef the bag of um, spices as well as three cups of water So now that I've got everything all mixed in, I'm about to pressure cook this for about 30 minutes. Um, normally, I guess you can slow cook this um, and simmer it on low heat for like a couple of hours, but I ain't got time for that. So I'm using a pressure cooker. Um, this is great because you can pressure cook, slow cook, a lot of different functions. So I love this. So set it on medium, put the steam right, and it's on 30. So start. So it should take a couple of minutes for it to reach its maximum temperature before it starts pressure cooking. So while I'm going to do that, I'm just going to clean up a bit and also maybe start um, preparing cocos food. So this is cocos food. So what I've done is I've steamed some pumpkin, um, chicken breasts. I've also got some um, chopped kale, a bit, about two or three leaves of chopped kale. I've got two kilos of human beef mince. And I bought this Prime 100, um, which is pretty good. I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. And Coco's been eating this for, I think, about two months now. And so far, it's so good. Um, Coco is definitely one spoiled kid because I legit prep this um, probably every three weeks or so. So this is Coco's food all mixed and ready for prepping. I also added in turmeric as well because I heard turmeric has a lot of good benefits. Um, so it's all ready for prepping. I'm going to divide these into 250 gram servings. So yes, I know I do sound like a crazy dog lady right now and I definitely do spoil him, but I want to make sure that he is on a proper diet because he has had issues with um, bloody stools in the past and it's kind of on and off. So that's why I'm kind of giving him bland food with a little bit of mixture up here and there slowly introducing um, different food um, but yeah so let me know though if you have a dog because he's still a puppy so I'm not sure whether I want to give him like bone stuff right now um, but let me know what you give your dog and if you have any tips so far this has been um, really good to him and he really likes it so I guess I want to continue for a while until I know he's okay and start introducing new food to him so Coco's food is all ready all in 250 gram servings so this will last about three weeks and what i'll do is just put it in the freezer and take it out and give him half um for lunch and half for dinner aren't you excited coco huh aren't you excited we're making you your food yay so this is what his food ends up looking like by the way so i've also mixed in some all brand cereal for extra fiber as well as greek yogurt for good bacteria just to give him a happy tummy and i also give him treats uh cheese as treats because he likes cheese and yeah this is probably pretty much what i do for him 
So back to the stew. This has been on pressure cooking for half an hour. So it looks like this. Let's mix it up a bit. So it's still kind of watery and um, meat. So what I'm going to do now is just add in the carrots and cook it for another 10 minutes. So this has been pressure cooked for another 10 minutes with the carrot in and it should be ready to eat. Um, but it's still kind of a bit watery. So what I'm going to do is actually transfer this to a pot and simmer it just to thicken up the sauce because I like it a little bit more thicker. So you can pretty much eat it as it is. And I know I've seen a lot of pictures of it where it tends to be quite oily. There's a layer of oil on top. And I'm pretty sure when I was in Vietnam and I had it, that's how it was as well. But personally, I don't like a lot of oily um, oil in it or a lot of fat in my food I like to try and keep it clean so what I'm doing is I'm just I've already separated the meat and the carrot aside from the sauce I'm just going to simmer the sauce a bit just to kind of thicken it up and also remove any excess oil which this time around doesn't appear to have a lot of oil as I did last time so it should be pretty good so I've also removed the tea bag with the lemongrass, bay leaves and star anise in it. Um, I just find it easy to have it in a tea bag and just remove it out instead of finding it later. And I'm just simmering the sauce right now just to kind of thicken it up. And usually like if there's a layer of oil, I'll just like pick it all up with this little sifter thing. But there isn't actually that much oil in it this time. So it should be okay. Now, while I'm waiting for this to simmer, this is when I also taste it to see whether it is good or not. Um, if it's not flavored enough, then I'll add some salt and pepper. But if it's too much of that beefy, salty taste, then I'll also add a bit of sugar in as well. However, if it's tomato-based um, sauces, instead of adding sugar, what I normally do is I add tomato sauce. Um, I find it really um, good to use because it's got sugar in it as well. And it doesn't taste like you just added sugar. It has like this tomato sweetness to it, which I really like. So that's my little um, hack, I guess, tip when it comes to cooking. So this is pretty much the final product and this is what mine looks like. Um, it's really, really nice to eat with bread, just to dip it with bread. I believe you can also add it into noodles and make like a soup out of it as well. But it's just really nice during winter because it fills you up and it's quite hearty and warm as well. Um, what I normally do is I make a pot like this and then freeze it into little um, serving sizes so I just take it out the night before defrost it and have this um, as it is mm, but it's so good hi guys so today is Saturday and it's almost one o'clock I'm actually running a bit late because I need to go pick up my cousin Fiona and head to Blairgow which is down in Mornington an hour and a half away um, we were meant to leave at about 11 and get there by this time but because she was on call had work um, we're gonna head there now I'm just about to leave and maybe have Macca's on the way because I'm so freaking hungry so I just picked up my Macca's. I was going to go through a drive through but the drive through line was so long so I just ended up going in. Um, but yeah, so now I'm on my way to pick up my cousin. So it took us like literally about two hours or so. I think I left my house like quarter past, quarter to one and it's 3.07 right now. Um, it wasn't too bad of a drive. I stayed awake the whole time. Fiona almost fell asleep. So yay. But we are in Blair Gowie right now because it's my girlfriend's birthday and her partner organized a surprise birthday for her. So we are here and we're just about to go in. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> So it's currently evening and I'm at my cousin's baby shower. Check out this donut hole. So we're home and it's quarter past 11 and Coco is going through crazy hour right now. Crazy. How cute is this face? Cannot say no. Coco. Mm. 
Why are you so rowdy, huh? Why are you so rowdy? Can I help you? Can I? Oh, okay. Someone's getting rowdy. Coco, behave. Good night, Coco. Hi guys, good afternoon. So today is Sunday and it's currently midday. Um, Coco and I had a little bit of a late start today. Kyung was up and out at about 8 o'clock this morning. He had to drive all the way down to Mornington because last week we went to the barbecue festival. Um, had an Instagram competition where you could win up to like $250 worth of stuff. So he won, which meant that he had to drive down to pick it up today. Um, so yeah, Coco and I have just been sleeping all morning, resting because... I kind of had a really long day yesterday driving up and down um so yeah and plus now i'm just taking him out going for a walk to give him some fresh air to tire him out as well because i'm waiting for count to get back and we're going to head to the italian food and wine festival that should be exciting count also actually won tickets for that um through another instagram competition so he's had a lot of luck recently but anyway so that's super exciting because it's something that we probably wouldn't have known about the italian food and wine festival um and tickets were like 90 dollars each so i'm really happy so i'm just waiting for him to come back and just yeah so today we don't really have anything else planned and we're gonna watch a movie later with Maiko so hopefully that will be good such a tight ass taking everything that's free <laughs> Supposedly makes the best pizzas in Melbourne. Mm. Went and got another pizza because it's so fucking awesome. The crust is so crispy. Yeah. So it's currently at quarter to six and we just got home. Um, it's been a long day, so probably going to um, just clean up around the house, have a shower, give Coco a bath, and just get comfy before we head out. Probably skip dinner because I'm still kind of full from eating at the festival, and I really, really want popcorn later. So, yeah, hopefully I might just skip it and just have popcorn, a big popcorn later. So it's just past midnight and my eyes are feeling so heavy. Um, we went and watched a movie with our friend Maiko. Um, we have movie sessions like every couple of weeks when there's a good movie out. And today we went and watched Transformers. Um, I don't want to ruin it for people, but a bit of a spoiler. I get really frustrated when you can't get like little final details right. And it is a bit of a spoiler. You may, I don't know if I say it, that you may make you think about it, but I just don't understand like how many times in a short time frame someone can get changed like from one scene to another anyways that's all i'm going to say but it just really annoys me and i really think it's time that they kind of stop with the whole um franchise like that and like fast and the furious pirates of the caribbean just stop like why would you take something good and just like ruin it anyway so i'm blubbering off now my eyes are so heavy i can barely keep it open um but yeah the weekend is finally over so um thanks for coming along with me hope you had a fun weekend as i did um but yeah until next time bye